So Beyonce is yeah. making big moves. Mm -hmm. uh, she also removed lyrics. Yes, there's a word. We will not say it on this podcast just to be respectful. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, we about to argue on the pod? That's what's about to happen? I'm not saying... I thought Respectful that was... to who? To the... Who does the word spaz offend? Let's have a real conversation. Isn't it people with... um? I don't want him to speak. <clears throat> Spaz. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, people refer to, have often referred to uh, disabled people as spastic, and that's why it's offensive. I don't, I just, I didn't make this up. I didn't say it. It wasn't me. Why are you looking at me like I did it? Disabled people in the United Kingdom often consider... In the United Kingdom? I'm just reading what... This... I'm not, I'm not mad at you. Go ahead. Disabled people oh, in the United Kingdom often consider spastic to be one of the most offensive terms related to disability. Um... Spaz in Wiktionary says slang, derogatory, offensive, a stupid or incompetent person. That's not how we use it in this culture. In this culture, when someone says spaz or spaz out, it means bug out. It means wall out. Yeah, but I think where that originated from is the problem. From what I under from what I've been reading, I I don't know because I've never this is a this is this is new to me. The only the, the time that I first learned about this was when Lizzo came out with her album several weeks ago, and Lizzo ended up removing it from one of her songs as well because um the uh, the public said that she was being ableist. This is what I don't understand. And this is what I think is a very dangerous thing about this current time. Everyone wants to please the public, but music is art. And part of art is pushing boundaries, which means, yes, it will offend people. Mm -hmm. And if one thing is used, if a term is used one way by a specific culture and you're not part of the culture, why do you get a say? That's my first question. My second question is, okay, we're removing lyrics and samples to please the public. So what happens next? Because I'm I'm with Monica Lewinsky. Monica Lewinsky came out and was like, oh, we're removing lyrics? Take my lyrics out too then. Yeah. Um, you spoke about me on partition, Beyonce. Right. Take that shit out. So now what? So we're just going to have silent songs soon. It's just going to be instrumentals because everything offends someone. <laughs> Yeah, this says spaz is a direct derivative of the word spastic used to describe a medical condition. And when people use that term, it's always in relation to these medical conditions, even if intention is not there to be offensive. But then we can't use any word that we have remixed for the culture, if that's the case. There are a bunch of words and terms that we use in this culture, yeah. in hip hop, that derive that the inception of the word was offensive or not cool or hurtful and we have remixed it jazzed it up whatever term you want to use reimagined it and turned it into something else nerd had a huge record called spaz that was years ago nobody told them to take it off it was the number one record on their tour it was one of the records that they closed with and guess what people were like mosh pitting when they did it so because times have changed, we're taking down lyrics and saying, I'm sorry, and being uh, uh, people pleasers. You know what happens when you decide to please the public? You fuck up everything you're trying to do because you're so busy trying to please the public that you can't even stay true to who you really are. So that means what? Now you're going to be writing lyrics and have to second guess. Now you're going to have to remove everything you say that offends someone. But in this age, every fucking thing offends someone. So what's going to be left in 10 years? You will, you'll have to fucking submit your lyrics to the public before you can record your song? 
I do not approve of this shit at all. Everything offends someone. I am sure. JD and I approve of this mess. I did not. I don't. This yeah, I don't. I think it's bullshit. And I think when you decide to please Twitter and everybody else about what you fucking do because you don't want to get quote unquote canceled, I think that's a cowardice act. I do. I think you should say, hey, I wrote this. This is the mentality I was in. I meant it this way. And too fucking bad if you don't like it. Clearly, someone saying spaz is is in this culture is not meant to make fun of anyone. There are plenty of examples of us using it in the culture. And NERD is not even hip hop. They're alternative. They're like on some rock and roll shit half the time. I love NERD. My point is they had a huge record that goes beyond hip hop, especially at that time. Mm -hmm. And nobody said shit. It's because of this era we're in where everyone's so fucking sensitive and everything offends someone. You can't say anything in this age without, oh, well, you know, yeah, you're right. you're calling for violence against a group of people. Oh, what you said was very offensive to a group of people. Yo, fam, mm -hmm. everything is going to offend someone. So what? Now all, all N-words will be removed from songs in five years because it offend a group of black people? So we're just going to have half of all hip hop songs not have the word nigga because it derives from a racist slur? Come on, like the shit is stupid. Well, I guess if, if that's the argument, then who, 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 who of who, whom of who, I don't know how to say this, of the people who were using the word spaz, who was disabled, who, who was reclaiming it? That's what I'm saying. No one was talking about disabled people. We were saying bug out. When somebody says, yo, he bought the spaz, or if somebody hears a record, let's say somebody hears a rap song, they say, man, Dashing Deep spazzed on that song. It means she went wild. Right, but just, just, I guess I'm just trying to talk it out. I don't, I, I, I honestly don't know how to feel about this, but I'm asking questions because maybe these are questions that people watching will have. Who, if we're saying, because I understand when you use the N word, I don't know why I'm saying N word, but <laughs> when, you, when you say nigga, we are talking about the fact that something that has been said about us, we've now reclaimed it and we've, we've spoken, we use it in a different way, right? Like when me and you use it on this podcast, for instance, we're, we're reclaiming it. Okay. You're saying who from the crippled, you're saying who from the disabled, I'm sorry. You can say disabled. Who from the disabled community is reclaim is using the word in that way? That's what you're saying, right? Because because no what because what is being said from what I understand is that the word spastic is a term that was before anyone was using it in the way that it's being used in songs. Before anyone was using it, it was to refer to a condition. I'm listening. Go ahead. That affected disabled people. So. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand and I'm just trying to talk it through. I'm not even telling you that I think you're wrong or anything like that. I'm just asking questions just because, you know, for the purposes of this podcast, I want to have a, conver a conversation, let's have a real conversation about it, you know? So I guess that would be the question, right? Then is it the same thing? In hip hop, we take terms that are not used regularly and we use them and we alter them to make them cool, mm -hmm. acceptable, trendy. There are brands that nobody ever fucking heard of before hip hop. There are words that nobody ever fucking heard before hip hop that we use. Right now, many, many people say that's cap. Does it mean it's a baseball hat? No. Mm -hmm. Does it mean it's a dad hat? No. It means it's bullshit. It means it's a lie. So 
that's one example of what we do. We are very creative and we change the definition of things constantly to keep things fresh, new, cool, trendy. That's what we do. Okay. With a ton of shit. I hear you. That's number one. Uh -huh. Number two is... <clears throat> Number two is spaz was not used for the first time in songs in 2022. I'm sure if you do a Google search, mm -hmm. spaz is in many more songs than the NERD song I mentioned, the Lizzo song you mentioned, and the Beyonce song we're talking about. I'm sure spaz is in more than three songs mm -hmm. from the time hip hop came out almost 50 years ago. Come on, son. It has nothing to do with the word. It has to do with this era we live in where everyone is sensitive mm -hmm. and everyone wants to petition against things and everyone wants to please the people mm -hmm. because those who are happy on the internet, like fucking five people, mm -hmm. but those who are happy on the internet will champion you. Yay, Lizzo took the word out the song. Yay, Beyonce removed it. Hooray. Who gives a fuck? Okay. What I'm saying is we are entering very dangerous waters. Because if you can tell me what to remove from my art, mm -hmm. that gives you a lot of power. And that takes away the power and the creativity and the freedom from the artist. Mm -hmm. That's like if someone was in here painting and you walked in and said, oh, but when you use yellow, it, it offends me. You know, the reason that people use yellow is because of blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And so I think you should remove yellow from your painting. So now they just don't use yellow in any of their paintings. Mm -hmm. No, like that's not okay. Art is subjective. Art is creative. Art is rebellious. Art pushes boundaries. That is the point of art. Music is a form of art, just like dance is a form of art. There are many forms of art. When you are able to tell someone who you are not paying and commissioning for a piece of work, hey, I don't want this. I need you to remove this. That is a very dangerous place to enter. Because what you're saying is the court of public opinion will dictate the things that do and do not happen in the art, in the industry, and in the era that you're living in. That's why I use the example. Because these, whoever it is that is pushing for spaz to be removed, mm -hmm. where the fuck they came from? They didn't petition NERD 10 or 12 years ago. This is some new shit because of the era that we live in. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So again, so what happens in, in five years, in 10 years, people come out and say, oh, well, we, we need to ban the word nigga because of what it derives from. I think people have already tried that. But it hasn't been and this era. No been one's tried in this era. And who knows? Listen, that if you continue to do this, what I'm saying is that this sets a precedent. Mm -hmm. And when you set a precedent and when you allow these things to happen, mm -hmm. they will only continue to happen. If every time I walk in this closet to record a podcast, you smack me across the face and I allow it, guess what's going to keep happening? I'm going to keep getting smacked across the face. And wait, you may even elevate to something more extreme. Are you trying Maybe. to tell our listeners that I'm violent? What I'm saying is that when you give a person an inch, they take a mile. And allowing people to dictate what you do and do not do in your art mm -hmm. is a very dangerous place. And these two huge artists, Beyonce and Lizzo, yeah. regardless of how you feel about them personally or their music, they are huge stars. Absolutely. They are huge artists. And now these two highly, uh, I don't know if I should say honored, but th these two very creative, very popular, very powerful women 
are now signing away freedoms mm -hmm. and limiting what they and other artists can do. If someone as big as Beyonce, who's arguably the biggest woman act on the planet, is saying, I will remove the word spaz from my music, what do you think happens when someone else does it? Anyone who's not Beyonce level, which let me be clear, there aren't many people on Beyonce's level. No. So anyone under that level will now have to live up to that standard. They are going to hold them to the same light and say, hey, B level artist, mm -hmm. C level artist, up and coming artist that we've never heard of. Why are you using this word that's offensive? Mm -hmm. Beyonce removed it, you should remove it too. Beyonce removed it because she understands that it's not allowed, that it's offensive, that it should be banned. And guess what? Now, anyone else can be held to that same light. Yeah. They can be held to that same decision. Mm -hmm. That is dangerous and that is not okay. And I think that we try to please fans and people on the internet so much that we are entering a dangerous place. Art is not supposed to be restricted. That's what I'm saying. I hear you. I understand what you're saying. Points were made. Points were made. Okay. Thank you for that. No problem, Bob.